Hello, Your Honor, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, sunny, nesting, and resting today for the Librans. The moon is off Pluto. It's now time to invest in your emotional nurturing. So nurture yourself right now if you can. This is a great time to invest in cleaning your house, setting up a nice little ritual. This is a good Calgon bubble bath sort of time. This is a great time to spend with people that nurture you. You want to receive nurturing right now. You don't want to have to give it unless you are investing in something that will nurture you. I always clean my house during this particular transit just by nature. I'm like, oh my God, I want to clean my house. Ah, oh, the moon is in my fourth house, of course. Or if nothing else, I always clean my bed sheets and make sure there's lots of bounces in the dryer so I can go to bed with a nice cozy bed. <laughs> it's a good time to pamper yourself. This is the time to recharge your battery. So take advantage of this moment. Now, zipping in the sun, you might be a little antsy today. Mars is ruling the day. That's an aggressive agro-masculine vibration. The intention of Mars is to act. Yesterday, we made decisions about your soul capital, what you're worth or not worth. Today, act on that. So give someone notice. Give your boss a notice. Give the bank a notice. Take action on yesterday's self-esteem decision, even if the action is taking better care of yourself because you're worth it, all right? Now, action is an important part of light casting our reality because until we act on the choices the universe brings us, we don't get the next set of choices. All right, so you must take action step by step, and today's the day to do it. And Mercury has hopped the border over into Sagittarius now. That means that for the next few weeks, Librans are going to be incredibly articulate. Mercury is in its home spot for you, the house of Mercury or Gemini. So this is going to be an excellent time for you to express your feelings, see a therapist, start journaling, start blogging, see a practitioner like Julie or Skip that you can get things off your chest. Listen. This is a good listening time. You're going to be very clear in communication for some time. Take advantage of this clarity. It only happens once a year. And next month when the sun moves into Sag or the next transit, you're going to start to own. Your entire soul will own what you have learned. And it's Wednesday. We've got an episode of Skip Janning's Urban Mystic Live today. He's got a lot more optimism when it comes to Scorpio. His lecture today will help you draw boundaries as it relates to your soul capital. So don't miss Skip. He's got an affirmation, something to tell yourself over and over, and a seven-day challenge if you want to hold this lesson for a full week. And he is live everywhere. Our fabulous Soul Garden is blooming. I know it's fall, but we're still blooming. All right, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, a fascinating trine has bubbled up. Until then, live, love, be. Soul Garden.